Hi, welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm a competition consultant, developer and course instructor, and I help companies to improve their efficiency, reliability, and scalability with the use of computer vision. Today, I'm bringing a new prototype idea uh, to show what you can do with a drone. Uh, and the idea is that when you have a drone, let me show you some example, you can get any information that you find from the ground, uh, whether this information is counting some specific objects that you find in the ground or some you can count, for example, also like uh, how many buildings are on the ground. Uh, you can count if there are animals, how many animals, what animals are on the ground. But also not only counting, we can also see segmentation and see like percentages of some specific areas so also the size of a specific area in the project that we are going to see today we are going to take into account water surfaces and uh, detecting them segmenting them and checking like how many surfaces we can see with a drone and also like the size of the biggest surface in comparison like with the entire frame that we have and so on. Uh, taking uh, this video footage, for example, when we talk about the water surface, it means that our software will need to uh, correctly segment uh, the water surfaces that are detected. So of course I'm doing that manually myself now to give you an example. So we have a water surface here and the software will need to do the segmentation that I'm doing so that later we can get the area. But also we can get the number of the surfaces. For example, we see a few ponds right here, which might be very useful to know if is there only one big surface or are there many water surfaces that are at least on top, not connected with each other. So that's what we are going to uh, to take a look into right now. I'm now showing you the prototype that I built in real time. So this is the information that we get from the software, uh, which is the water area and the water area is calculated in percentage from compared with the size of the entire frame. So it means that uh, the water area is covering, you can see like here on top, uh, it's covering 20% of the entire frame. Uh, in this case, the area is based only on percentage because I don't have any other information from the drone footage. We can go even more than that. We can get also like a precise area, like a measurement of the area in case we have more information. Like for example, if we have the depth, so if the drone is telling us how far it's flying from the ground and also if we have some other information regarding like the uh, camera lens, camera distortion, camera like aperture size, we can of course uh, un understand like uh, and get more information also uh, regarding like a more specific area, not only in comparison with uh, the frame. We get the uh, ponds number. In this case, we have 15 ponds, which are totally uh, de detected. You see, we have like few uh, areas where there is uh, where there are water surfaces far away and they are all detected. Uh, we're getting like the bigger area, so, which is 18%. So it means that we have a very big pond and then we have very, very small. So 18% is covered by a big one and only a total of 2% by all uh, this small one that you can see uh, right here. And now let me uh, scroll through a few frames from this software that I have so we can go far. And th the nice thing is that we're not working with just a picture. When we, we work with the drone, we work with a bit of footage and this means that we can scan uh, easily uh, very big areas, uh, wherever the drone can go, uh, we can scan that. Now I'm working with a video footage, but of course this can, can be done in real time if you need this information in real time by connecting the stream that you get from the drone, drone di directly to a computer that can process deep learning. So you will need a 
powerful computer or some other devices, even if it's not a computer, some like one board devices that can process deep learning, you connect the drone to that, of course, it will be the stream to uh, to that devices from the drone, and you can get this information in real time in case you need it in real time and not from a drone footage. And also want to mm, let you know that I, I see, I'm aware that like the precision of now this, uh, this segmentation that we have right here is not like super good, like it's not the best. Uh, that doesn't mean that we can't achieve that. The reason why we have we are covering like the area, but not strong, so precise 100% is because I built this prototype very fast. So I didn't put a lot of effort into accuracy. I wanted just to, to show you the idea, but normally we can get a very good segmentation of the, the, the ponds right here. So that's absolutely possible. Of course, it will, it will require make a longer study and a very big training with a lot of data from drone footages to get such accuracy. But the important thing is that, you know, it's possible. And I want also to show some other examples. So this is an example of a footage that I have, but I have also other footages. I want you to show that. Let's now take into consideration like this uh, other completely different example uh, where we have like one pond which where like the waters, uh, at least the surface is separated because uh, there is a small bridge uh, right here. And this is a clear information that you can get right from this software because you get like water area 6%, then number of ponds you see uh, too. And also I didn't show you this in the other example, but we have also a mask that will show you uh, exactly in comparison with the frame, what is the coverage of the water area. And in this case, uh, it would be like to the eyes, much easier to see if there is or, or not some connection. For example, this is a unique pond uh, where the connection, at least on the surface, is interrupted by uh, a bridge in this case. And let me show you this last example that I have where we have a dam and we are uh, segmenting like the water surface that we have right here. Of course, if we had more information from the footage, like the height and how tilted is the camera, we could uh, get the pond um, information like size, like meter square that the area is covering. And also any other information that we could get from uh, visual recognition. And of course, this was just an example to show you and demonstrate that with a drone footage, you can segment in real time anything that you need. So whether you need, for example, to uh, segment the road, count the roads, check their length, if you need to find holes, if you need to find uh, the roofs in real time, to find the size of the roofs, uh, if you need to detect fire, uh, where the fire is located with the use of a drone. Computer vision can help you to do this very quickly and easily because uh, it will be processing this in real time. Uh, I hope that you got useful information from this video. I want to let you know that if you have a company and you need visual recognition, you want to improve the efficiency, reliability and scalability of your company, where there is visual recognition needed, computer vision can help you do that. And you can contact us at pysource.com for a discovery call where we can discuss how we can help your company to achieve this. This is all for this video. See you in the next one.